Okay, the Fighter Share Report. We're here at the A la Carte Pavilion with a young lady who will be fighting in Dallas tomorrow at the Nationals, correct? Yes. Would you tell them your name? My name is Iana Roxani Verdusco. What is your amateur record? I have 51 fights. I have like 45 wins and like four losses. And your mom was saying that you're ranked number one in your division? Yes, I'm ranked number one in the United States at 101 and 95. Wow! Okay, so how long have you been fighting? Well, we start fighting at eight years old, but I started training in the gym since I was four. I kind of lived there my whole life. And how old are you now? I'm 14. So you're 14, you're going to Dallas to fight for the Nationals. You're number one in the country. Dad, you have to be real proud. Yeah, she's coming along real good. I mean, she's where she has to be at her age, in her age group. She's doing good, and um, she was a gold medalist last year in the Junior Olympic Nationals at 95 pounds. She was the best fighter of the whole tournament for the female division. And then she went up to Reno to this Youth World Tournament. It was in January. She was a gold medalist, best fighter again of the whole tournament. Now we're going to the 2016 National Silver, I mean Golden Glove, uh, Junior Olympics in Dallas, Texas. So she's the reigning champion. She's the one to beat. Now, did you want her to become a fighter? No. <laughs> well, that's what she wanted. She, that's what she picked. So, you know, it's up to her. That's what she wanted. So, of course, we're going to give her the support. And um, eventually she's in good hands. And First place? Now, how did it feel winning your first gold medal? Well, it was really exciting. He was at a pro fight across the country, so I had my mom with me. But it was difficult, but, you know, it was worth it. I was experienced everything. I experienced how it is, and it was pretty exciting to win. And now being a two-time gold medalist, do you feel any pressure going into Dallas tomorrow? I don't feel pressure. I just, like, I have to be ready, prepared for anything because everyone wants to beat me, and I can't let that happen. Now, what do you like more, jab, hook? What, what, what's your specialty? A hook, right hook. <laughs> really? Do, do, do you see her going to the Olympics? Uh, well, that's the goal. I mean, of course, we're in the sport, and I've had other athletes that made it to the Olympic Games. So that's the peak of the amateur game, and I think we've been up that highway before, so she's in good hands with Allstate. Good hands with Allstate. Wow. Now, how can people follow you? Or do you have, does your dad let you have a social media account? A boxing Instagram, it's right underscore hook underscore Roxy. Right underscore hook underscore Roxy. <laughs> no secret. She says she loves the right hook, and that's her Instagram name. We're going to be following you. Um, we had a question on our show not too long ago about the NCAA, whether they should sanction boxing so people can get scholarships to fight instead of having just to work their way through the amateurs. How would you feel about your daughter competing for a scholarship if that was made available for boxing? I think that's a good thing. That's a good positive thing that can happen for, for the amateur program because right now they have to go through the amateur uh, ranks and maybe they might get a scholarship for school or whatever they want to do, you know, but um, I think I think that sounds like a hell of a plan and it's a good help for the young, the youth and the amateur programs so they can succeed in their education program. You hear that NCAA? Oh yeah, we never introduced her dad. My name is Rodrigo Mosquera. I'm from East Los Angeles, California and I'm Roxy's dad. You're from East LA? Just to be exact. And no tattoos up around here? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look out, De La Hoya. We got a new star from East L.A. Thank you very much, young lady, and God bless you. Yeah. Thank, Thank you, guys. Thank you, everybody.